a song from Little Lucy Vert. Then, about nine seconds into the song, this is what appears in your face. Upside down cross. I mean, he's just openly admitting right here that he is a Satanist. I mean, he actually posted a video that was about 23 seconds saying that basically hell was paradise. I mean, this he sold out. That's why he's so rich and he's got all this stuff. He sold out. And as well, this obviously... We, I know what it means, little loosey verb, but it also means love as well. So basically, you might as well be saying here that the Antichrist is love because that's basically what you might as well be saying. Upside down cross, and notice though it's a Catholic cross, not a Christian cross. This is, this is a Catholic cross, it's not a Christian cross. A Christian cross is just not normal. It doesn't have points at the edges. This is a Catholic Masonic cross. And it's upside down. You can tell it's upside down because the point is dead short and it's upside down. I mean, he's just straight up promoting before the song has even started. And he's basically promoting through the song that this is his universe, that this is his world, because he, ble he most likely believes that he's a god. Most of them do. There's a reason his career got fast, big fast, because he's a sellout. I mean, in the bad and bougie with Migos and Quavo. He, he basically had the t-shirt on of Marlon Manson. Marlon Manson is the biggest Satanist ever. He basically, his quote was, I want to be the one that defeat, that destroys Christianity. Well, it didn't happen, did it? And it never will, because these little Satanists that think they can overpower light can't. These are just puppets of the elite. Satan's just using them, and they don't care, they don't care that they'll go to hell for eternity, they most likely don't believe in that, they probably believe in that annihilationism, oh well, I'm gonna get away with what I'm doing, it doesn't matter what you believe really to be honest, if you believe it's eternal or not, you will find out when you get there, and people will see whether it's eternal or not. But, this is where this person's going. If he doesn't repent and stop promoting this garbage, he's going to hell. I mean, he openly promoted hell on one of his videos. He basically promoted the Baphomet and I don't even show it. Yeah, and as we say, this is what he posted. It's called Discover the Useiverse. So basically he believes that this is his world. And as you see, Satanist. Satanism. Some sort of free headed demon here. These are demons. Notice that they've got the mark. It's obviously what what, what he's promoting here. In the Bible, what does it say about the mark of the beast? And they shall have, take the mark in their right hand or their forehead. His name is basically on their forehead. So therefore, he's saying he actually most likely believes that he's the Antichrist. Little Wayne believed the same. He was so deluded that he believed he was the Antichrist. I mean, I can tell you one thing, he's an Antichrist spirit, but he is not the Antichrist. He's an Antichrist spirit. Because as you see, this would represent the mark of the beast. 
his name on their head, it says in the Bible, for they will take his name on their forehead or their right hand, for the no name and the number of the beast is six slash core six slash core six six hundred and sixty six. Notice how it's got the lightning bolt as well, Lucifer falling from heaven and beheld I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Notice here as well it looks like the picture of the gates of hell. If you look up an image of the gates of hell it looks something like this. This is basically the gates of hell being promoted right in your face. The one eye symbolism, one eye is utterly darkened. One eye, I mean this is just demonic, this video to start with. Look how demonic it really is, the Baphomet promoting Satan. Promoting this free added demon garbage. Basically this is the Catholic lie and agenda that God's got free ads. It's straight up satanic and a joke. Basically, the real trinity is the Holy Spirit, God, and the Father. Basically, the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are one. But they turned it to their satanic meaning, saying that they've got free heads. No. Well, as you see over and over again, the one eye symbolism. Look at this here. It looks like the Baphomet. And if you look here, it looks like an Egyptian false god, right here. I mean, demons all over the place. Notice though they're on fire as well. Get, this is hell. He's openly admitting and promoting here. This is the gates of hell being unleashed. Useyverse. He believes that this is his world, so basically his, his world is Satan. Because he's a sellout. He's a puppet of the elite. I mean, this is his proof right here that he's sold out. Notice so how it zooms into one of his eyes. One eye symbolism again. And notice how it's, he's basically purple in this. Purple, the color scarlet. And the woman shall wear, be clothed with scarlet. This is connected to the Antichrist. One of the basically beasts will be will wear scarlet. One of the beasts. I mean, he most. It's clear that he believes he's an, an Antichrist. He's an Antichrist spirit. That's what it is. It's most likely got a demon inside of him. I mean. When he's promoting stuff like this and he's so deluded and believes he's the, this is his world. And that's exactly what demons believe. They believe that it's their world. It isn't. Satan believes that this is his world. It isn't. And there we go again. Lightning bolt. Notice the color purple is being promoted continuously. Because it's connected to one of the beasts. One of the beasts in Revelation, it clearly says, and the woman shall be clothed with scarlet. It's connected to the Antichrist. It's no surprise to me when he's promoting the lightning bolt and promoting that basically this world is his universe. And then, of course, you got somebody throwing up the devil and what the. Dumb down masses do at concerts, throw at the devil horns, worshipping the Antichrist. So what are they doing here? Devil horns. And then again we got somebody else throwing it up in the crowd. Devil horns, promoting the beast, worshipping Lucifer. Basically when you throw at the devil horns are basically saying I I love Lucifer, that's basically what they're saying, because they do. There we go again with the devil horns, right here, and again the color purple. 
Uh, we go again with the one eye symbolism. The OC and I. You can only see the right eye, can't see the left eye. All seeing eye symbolism again. The one eye again, and of course the devil horns again, and again and again. One eye symbolism being promoted again. As you see, this is where he knows where he's going, he doesn't care. This is basically hell. This is the devil, standing before the devil, his time is up. So this soul, this will what this is what will happen one day. Time will run out, then the devil comes to collect, comes to collect your soul. When that time's up, it's up. And as you see, this is ba he says all oh, my friends are dead. So basically, most likely all his other friends have sold the soul. And then they don't dad being sacrificed or something. And as well, the skull, the occult skull of the Illuminati that they reuse in rituals and witchcraft. This is hell. This is the devil. He's standing and bowing down before the devil. As you can see, this is Satan. Satan here. Little Uzi is basically bowing down to Satan because he sold his soul. Satan is the one that controls his career and controls his life now. He is basically openly admitting now that he is bowing down to Satan. Satan has his life in his hands. Basically Satan now owns his life and his, that's what you get when you sell your soul. So you saw Satan now owns you and controls your life and everything you do. You are now owned by the devil. And when the devil comes to collect, that's over. When the devil comes to collect your soul, it's up. There's nothing you can do about it. This is what these people don't realize. They think, oh, that's cool, sell me soul. And then when the devil comes to collect, Time's up. When that contract expires, it's the devil's time to take you. Which is most likely a human sacrifice or something like that. It's what they do. When that time's up, they'll most likely sacrifice you or kill you. And offer, and it's basically an offering to the devil. But he's openly admitting here now that his life is now controlled by the devil, because it is. As he sold his soul willingly, fame and fortune, now the devil owns him.